Bobcats! What is your profession? The Powers Project. Dr. Sean, it's uh, it's great to have you on the show uh, today. How are you? Great to be here, man. Yeah, doing well. Just finished my uh, work day, long long work week, but got through it. So it's always a good always a good feeling once that that last patient's done on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I follow you on Instagram and I see huh? your schedule. Like you don't have your whole schedule, but I see all the things you're doing. And I'm like, how does he do all this stuff in a day? Like you, you have a ton of clients and then, and then somehow you find the energy to go out and, and enjoy the night mm-hmm. in Vegas and stuff like that. So yeah, it's always been a philosophy work hard, play hard for me. I guess have to keep some balance and make sure I'm just having a good time. And then going out in Vegas too, like almost anytime I'm, I'm out, I, meet a lot a lot of people i have friends that will introduce me to their friends so they're just like oh this is my this is my guy i go see my body worker and then before you know it i have their number and they're like oh i want to get a dresser i want to get a massage (laughs) so that's it's been great just going out and like being able to do that especially um in vegas compared to albuquerque albuquerque used to go to the same places and see the same people so vegas there's just so much more to network especially being fairly new to the city yeah, well, Vegas is. I know. I know it's been a hot spot for a long time for MMA fighters, but it seems to be quite the hot spot for strongmen and bodybuilders and and all types out there. I mean, I know Stan Efferding's out there in now and uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, Stan's great. Yeah, he's. I've had him he's on a, a couple of times, and he's just he's just probably one of the most nicest guys and just the most generous person you'd ever want to meet. And he's and he's just a he's a walking encyclopedia when it comes to, you know, training and diet and stuff like that. I mean, oh yeah. I've been doing this stuff for over 40 years and he puts me to shame. So <laughs> yeah, I, so he's a solid, solid dude, super intelligent, he, he good really, person to have on your side. Yeah, he is. He's just, and, and just again, the nicest and most generous person you ever want to meet. But um, I came across you because as I told uh, Stan, I said, you know, because he, we were talking about me working out and getting in the best shape of my life. And that's, mm-hmm. the but I told him, I said, I've been dealing with this shoulder impingement for almost All a right. year now. And now normally I'll get this like once every four or five years and it'll last mm-hmm. for two to three months. This time it hasn't gone away. And I was like, and I went to my chiropractor, I went to my acupuncturist, which usually takes care of it, didn't take care of it this time. And I was like, there's got to be something more out there. And so yeah, yeah. I don't know how, you know, I, I just, I believe that when you focus on solutions, solutions will find you. And I saw you and I saw uh, Dr. Bo Hightower and I was, and I saw this mallet and chisel and I was like, what in the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> and I saw, I was like, I go, that's what I need. <laughs> and then I saw you guys are out in Vegas and like, damn, you're out in Vegas. Um, you know, I was like, and then I saw you might be, uh, bringing a, uh, an office here in Florida. And I was like, yeah, yeah, if you come to Florida, you have to come to Orlando. This is where all the celebrities come. You know, we have Disney and universal and all that. So all the celebrities like to come to Orlando so they can visit Disney. So, oh, yeah. uh, man, I need to talk you guys into setting a shop up. Down here. Yeah, we're, we're looking, we're trying to find a good spot for it. Uh, we have, a, we have one or two therapists that are interested in going out. So. Oh, That's kind of how the, the how it happened in Vegas. We're doing great in Albuquerque. Uh, great office. We have about nine therapists, and uh, yeah, things are going well, and we're getting a lot of recognition around the, the states, around the world, even. And uh, we just decided it was time to expand, and Vegas was a one of the best options for us. And I grew up coming here quite a bit, so I was familiar with it already. So it was kind of an easy decision for me, for the most part. I was just ready for a new change and to see myself uh, grow, kind of. Yeah. Start all over, start all over, see what, what Vegas had for me. Just out of curiosity, and then, how old are you? Uh, 32. I just turned 32 in May. Because you started off doing this, you started off as a personal trainer in the, in the business and then moved, and then you started massage therapy and then you moved up to, to uh, what you do now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I got my license in uh, naturopathic medicine. That was the, the latest. That's what my doctorate's in. Okay. So- um, I know, I'm sorry. I don't mean to get, a, get what is naturopathic uh, therapy? Is that the chisel mallet? No, we're, we're putting that into the curriculum. That's uh, that's more orthotherapy, which is a trademark that we, we came up with with Dr. Hightower. So we kind of got an idea from someone and then just made that, made that our own and developed a whole system behind the, 
the hammer and chisel. Uh, but actual napropathy or napropathic medicine, it's, um, it's very similar to chiropractic. We focus a lot more on soft tissue. So we're, we, we consider ourselves soft tissue experts. Um, and that, that just leads, to, leads us to a different way of analyzing the body and movement and just taking in, into consideration a lot more things when approaching uh, a new patient with an injury like yourself, like your shoulder. So besides just the adjustment or just the massage, like we do a combination of things plus a little extra. So that's kind of what sets us apart. We're just, basically, we just, we just know there's a way to fix a, a sports injury and right. it doesn't always, it doesn't always go according to plan just with your basic stuff. So you got to do a little extra and we kind of just work hard until we get that answer for someone. Well, that, I mean, that makes sense. Obviously the more tools you have at your, at your ex, uh, exposure where you can use those, the, the better mm -hmm. off you, you are to serve a patient who, who might be hurting because one thing might not work and another will. And, uh, and so it's nice to see that there are guys like you and, and uh, Dr. Bo out there who, who have these different uh, techniques that you can use to, to help clients. And, and, uh, and, it, and the thing I loved about it is that you work on some pretty big boys out there. I mean, some pretty big boys. And that was, oh, yeah. and one of the things I did, I know being a bigger person myself is that chiropractors have such a hard time adjusting me because of my size. Uh, and unless they're, unless they're muscular like you or Dr. Bo, they just, they have, they just can't make the adjustments. And then they use like this little roller thing that never does anything for me. So <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. A lot, a lot of them use instruments that are just very subtle. Like they, yeah. they believe, I mean, it would help someone that doesn't have as, as much muscle mass. That's just all vertebra, someone skinny, frail. Uh, so you want to go lighter on someone like that. But most of our, our patients are going to be a lot of athletes, a lot of bodybuilders, fighters, of course. We're inside of a fight gym. Um, so, yeah, these guys have really strong bodies. So we have to go to that next level and really treat them with some power. That so, way we can make it, make something happen <laughs> for them, you know? What what makes you determine whether or not someone needs soft tissue therapy over the, the mallet and the, and the chisel. Like, you know, if I came into you and I said, you know, Dr. Sean, I'm looking forward to that mallet and chisel and you go, eh, Nope, you don't need that. And I'll be, I, I know I'd be disappointed, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but because I, I'm pretty sure that's what I need. But you said, no, you need soft tissue therapy. So how do you decide what it is that you, that, that person needs? Yeah, for my, for the most part, uh, my philosophy is like everyone needs soft tissue work. Um, almost everyone. There's going to be some yogis out there that stretch a ton, and their their fibers are going to be pretty elastic, and whatnot. Uh, but most athletes that are constantly building, regenerating muscle, they, all the breakdown and everything that happens when you're when you're working out, um, any kind of exercise, all all those fibers they get bundled up. They the pattern kind of gets uh, dismantled as it's rebuilding, right? So once that happens, it's going to start pulling on joints, pulling things out of place, or just create some congestion in the area. So especially for the shoulder, it moves 180 degrees, like all the way around. Right. So it's one of the most complicated joints because of that. A lot of different muscles are involved. So basically it's, it's trying to find the imbalances from one muscle to the other, how they're working together. Um, you can't just knock something back in place and expect it to stay there. The same thing goes with traditional adjustments. That's why we do the soft tissue work. Cause if, if that's not involved, all the tissue that's already staying tight is just going to pull you right back. Right. And then same idea, um, looking at it the other way, if you just do the soft tissue work, but you aren't able to kind of adjust it and bring things back into place, then you're still going to have the impingement or whatever bony issue is going on. So it's, that's why we want to combine the two, but you need a lot more soft tissue work than the actual adjustment. So that's, when you do come in for a session for me, it's going to be 80% of it. And the final touches are going to be some of the mobilizations and then the hammer work and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. We, that make, Again, that makes sense because I know for me, for my shoulder impingement, it's because I like to think that I'm not a muscle head, but there's times where I can be one. And so when I'm benching, I love that tight feeling that your chest and your shoulders and all that get. So I don't, oh, stretch. Yeah. so when I don't stretch, you know, there's times where 
I'll miss a back workout here or there. I never miss a chest workout. So, but, yeah, exactly. So, so sooner or later, and then one day I'll just do a back workout and all of a sudden it's like the back muscles are pulling, you know, trying to get the muscles, get everything back where it's supposed to be, but the chest and shoulder muscles are so tight. And then there's oh, a yeah. pinching of the nerve somewhere. And then of course that just makes lifting miserable or at least, you know, benching and that kind of stuff. And so, yeah. Yeah, you, you definitely have to hit that International Chess Day. Ready? Is, yeah. is that Monday's International Chess Day? <laughs> exactly, every Monday. Yeah, no one, <laughs> no guys ever ever miss chess workouts. Uh, but yeah, you have to think about it as when it comes to your chest and the front of your shoulders and stuff. Anytime your arms are out in front of you or raised, those muscles are active and shortened. So that's day to day. That's everything that we do. Whether it's texting on the phone, uh, cooking, driving, like our arms are always almost bent at the elbow, raised at the shoulder. We're constantly activating through these areas. That's why they're so tight on every single person um, in relation to other areas. So your back has to work really hard, like you said, to really balance it out and keep things pulled back. Uh, so we definitely recommend people in their programs really focusing on their, their back work just because it's just not done enough. Like we need to shorten and strengthen those muscles to help stabilize and so we, we really preach that and it's something that we we teach people in a session at the very end we'll, we'll be like all right well we got these things loose but we have to keep them there so let's teach you these strengthening exercises for the opposite muscles that are weak so that's kind of like full circle um, approach that we take to make sure someone's not just relying on us just for the same care over and over again like you tend to have with certain therapists um they kind of they kind of get you in there two or three times a week and then keep you there for the entire year Exactly. So, yeah, we, we kind of, that's not, that's definitely not our goal. It's good. It's good on the, on the wallet and stuff, but it's not our goal. Like we want to <laughs> provide someone with care and teach them, educate them that way moving forward, they can take care of themselves and be more confident you knowing their body and how it moves. Um, and then ultimately, yeah, just be out of pain. Yeah. I love that philosophy. I wish more, more doctors would, would, uh, would take. Yeah. It's, sl it's slowly coming around, slowly yeah. coming around. You know, I think it, I think, you know, especially for you guys, what you do, you have such success that you're, you're getting more patience just because of the success that you've had, where if you had yeah. that, you took these same patients and, and you just milked them all year long and like, they never seem to get better. You know, you're not going to get new patients because you, you haven't helped the old ones sort of, it's sort of like when you were a personal trainer, I'm sure you had, yeah. you know, you, you have more, more, um, clients then you know what to do with because as long as you, the clients you're working with are making progress and people can see that they're going hey i want i want sean here to, to train me since i can see what his, you know what's going on with his other clients so yeah. but i know that you and i both have seen uh personal trainers out there who who just run their people through the the you know the the drill and don't take, yeah, yeah exactly and don't do you know they're just just yeah, they don't really have a plan for their workouts. Yeah. There's no plan of action. So they're just like randomly picking exercises and just kind of going in circles with it and stuff like that. And then you have to have a, a plan and um, be able to execute it to get the results that are desired. And that's one of our main philosophies is that results matter. So if people aren't getting results and then they're, they're, they're not going to go tell their friends or or most people actually see that, right? Especially like personal training, like oh, yeah. their friend, their friend just got all of a sudden they're just shredded or they, they gained a lot of muscle and they're like, Oh, what'd you do? And they're like, Oh, my trainer helped me out. So same thing with therapy. Like I noticed your back was hurting for all this time. Now you're moving around good and you seem happy and stuff. So they'll ask their friend and they're like, Oh, I'm going to this guy. Like you should go see him. Right. Or they're just, or they just come back to work feeling out of pain and happy. So they're just going to tell everyone without even someone asking <laughs> That's me. I'm the, I'm that person that when I find someone or something, you know, and I'm happy with it, I tell everybody about it. I go, listen, I, I'm just going to tell you what worked for me. And this worked for me. You know, I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. just, I'm that kind of guy because I believe in helping others. And I know that I'm not yeah. the one who suffers through different things. And, and uh, so if I can help someone, you know, then by just giving them some advice, you know, say, Hey, go see this guy or go buy this, you know, piece of equipment or whatever. I'm, I'm all about it. So yep. I'm, I like that. Super, yeah. Uh, super necessary. <laughs> so, all right. So the, tell me about, I know again, you said this is maybe 20% of it, but tell me about this mallet and chisel where you guys got this idea and, 
and why it works so well, or, or at least from what I can see, it seems to work really well. Yeah, so it, it all started with um, another doctor. He's actually from the Netherlands. He was treating one of our um, MMA, MMA fighters that was doing a camp in Albuquerque. So this guy was also from the Netherlands. Um, that's where he's born and stuff. And that's where he grew up and, and started seeing the doctor that he brought overseas with him. Um, so that particular doctor, he's a physiotherapist out in, in Europe. So and they, they do a good job out there of like being a little more forced, full circle. It's not just one discipline where that's all they do, you know? So they look at the body kind of like the way we do. And we just try to advance that and bring that to, to uh, the States here. Uh, but basically that guy, he would have a tool and he would just go to the spine, like say something with the shoulder was going on. He'd go to the spine to the corresponding vertebra and nerve root of that shoulder. And then just do a little adjustment, a little tapping on the, on the actual vertebra. He would say that all that was out of place. And that's what would lead to the, the nerve pathway that's causing the issue in the shoulder, um, which is basically what we're learning in school, both in chiropractic school, PT school and naturopathic school. Um, even osteopaths, you're learning to mobilize and realign the spine. That way the nerve roots are free and happy and they can connect to the, the areas that they respond to and allow you to do certain movements, right? Um, so beyond that, you can also treat the area itself. So we know that a lot of it comes from the spine, but that, that's not what all injuries are from. Right. So you could be perfectly aligned at the spine, but still have a shoulder pain. So then you start looking at the alignment of the shoulder. Is it a little too far forward, a little too high up? Um, based on all the anatomy we studied, we took that same approach, uh, made some different tools for different areas. So this, this one was like a real skinny tip, right? That way it can fit in between vertebra. So we got um, some larger ones for areas like the, the lower back, the hips, the shoulder. And we're just started kind of experimenting like, there's a few cases that we're like, we can be more efficient with this. It's like we shouldn't have to do all these steps to get to a, a certain outcome. So once we started playing with that, um, we, we saw some great results. We we're kind of practicing on each other first. And then um, some of the athletes like fighters are, are great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are great people to a great, I'm not going to say like dummies, but <laughs> like their, their body, their bodies, get really beat up so they're always in so we can try a lot of different things on them and they're always they're always up for whatever is going to fix them you know they're not too afraid of trying a new thing as long as it helps them right. so yeah we, we started these different modalities and just kind of the more success we we saw we, we found with certain areas we'd kind of each like teach each other and it just became a thing to where we kept getting really good results using this method um and some areas more than others like We've, we've definitely experimented in some areas it doesn't it's not so helpful with but you'll be surprised on what all we can do with that that tool um just because your, your hands can't fit everywhere and you can't hit the right angles and have the right force that you would with something external like that right so when it comes down to physics and mechanics like you can really change different angles and um, just do, do stuff that you can't really do with your hands so that's what kind of made it next level for us so what areas would you say it doesn't work as well? Like are, would the hips be someplace it works or doesn't work? Yeah, the pelvis itself works really well, like on the SI joints. And um, a lot of times people will have an anterior tilt on their right hip. We see that a lot, um, most likely due from driving because it's kind of across the board, male, male female. Um, I mean, I'd, I'd say maybe 80% of the people have that tilt versus the opposite, like when their hips are out of a line. So that's kind of what we what it kind of came down to is most likely driving something that everyone does because you're constantly reaching forward with the right foot, left foot kind of hangs out to the side right. unless you're unless you're driving manuals, but there's not too many manual cars out there anymore. <laughs> that's true. And you stick shift. Um, but yeah, so so people will have that alignment. So I'll get under there and like hit the right hip backwards, basically try to realign it. Um, that's just a great tool for that. Cause once again, it's a little tougher to do with your hands and to do it as quick and fast. So the, the body responds really well to that force at the, at those particular angles and it, the hips, the large, the large joint, especially in bigger people. So once again, that's, that's brutal on your body. If you're just kind of crank away with your hands all the time on these right. large athletes. Yeah, I can so imagine. being able to, yeah. So we're just, just hitting different angles of the pelvis, 
they'll do a little bit in the front on the right side, a little bit in the back of the left side, and things start moving for you. I'm gonna so, um, yeah. I'm going to encourage everyone who's listening, who's watching. Uh, if you're listening to this on the podcast, go to the YouTube channel uh, and make sure that you that you watch this video because I, um, I'm going to actually put some uh, footage of you up doing the mm-hmm. chisel and the mallet and letting people see what it is exactly. Now, I have to ask you, though, it was either you or Dr. Bo, but I don't remember which one. <laughs> But you had a guy laying on his stomach, and you had the chisel between his legs and where his butt was. And I was like, "What are they? What are they about to adjust there?" So, yeah, yeah. I was like, "I hope that's for the hip, but I, I hope it's not going where I think it's going." <laughs> yeah, that was an attention getter. I think those are probably Doctor Hightower video videos. Uh, he, he likes to do that. It's gonna it's they gonna get a lot more views if they see that thumbnail of of that position and that that going on. Um, it, it's actually beneficial though. It's, it's not just for the show. It's not for, it's not just for the attention grabbing. Um, what that does is it, is it helps move the ischium, which is the bottom of the hip. So it's right, yeah, right next to, to really? <laughs> the danger zone. <laughs> well, I, yeah, so, I never have any problem with that area of my hip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It can be a little uncomfortable, but it does, it does help. So it's worth doing for certain cases. I just can't help to think that if it slipped and you hit that mallet just one time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be really precise and comfortable with that one to, exactly. to perform on people. So that's one of the last tricks. If nothing else is working and then like, all right, time for this. Exactly. So, but yeah, it, it, it's surprisingly helpful. And, and that's kind of what it came down to. It's like trying everything else and nothing working. We don't want to just give up on someone. So we think outside of the box, go back to our notes and like what else can work and we're able to usually solve most problems that way. So now you, you work for yourself, right? You work under Dr. Bo Hightower, but you, you work for yourself. You have your own place and stuff. Is that right? Yeah. So the company, um, Elite OSM is based out of Albuquerque, but we just have like a, a branch um, out here in Vegas now. And I, I run this office and uh, myself and Dr. Carlos Gamero, he's a PT. So between me and him, uh, we are the therapists at this location, and we have a, a few assistants that help out. So it's just a smaller operation than what we have in Albuquerque. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm in, in charge of getting my own people in and uh, making sure my schedule runs smoothly. So yeah, and you- it's, it's, it's like a team approach, but at the same time, we still have like our individual aspects to to the business. Right. And you, and you do seem to stay very busy. So here's, here's what I'm going to tell you in a month or two at the most, I'm going to be coming out to Vegas to see uh, Stan Efferding. And I'm, I want to come by and I want to see you and I want to, yeah, I want to get that. And what we'll do is I'll bring the camera with me so we can film that and uh, show them getting, of course, I have to get in shape before I come out to see you then. <laughs> so <laughs> That's yeah. funny. It's you know, because you know what it is. Seriously, when your shoulder hurts, I know I can squat. I know I can deadlift. I don't want to when I can't bench. And I know that's yeah. not the way you think about it. It's not the way you go about it. And and so I've kind of gotten out of shape because it's been painful to do benching. And you know, and that's a lame excuse. I already I already know. It. No one has to tell me like, oh, that's such a sad mm-hmm. excuse. I know it is. And so I'll just have to make sure that. I can, I'll do what I can do until I can get out there to see you. So I don't look too bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like signing up for personal training. Everyone tries to get in shape before right. they start working with their trainer. Well, and then too, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see Stan and, you know, Stan's a monster, you know, so. It's, oh yeah. So that's the motivation. Right. Exactly. So I definitely I, motivation and next to him and, and not just look small, but look small and fat next to him. I'd rather just look small next to him. So. Yeah, exactly. Like a, like a mini version, right? You don't want right, to be exactly because the guy's ripped his shreds. I mean, honestly, he, yeah, you know, he's a beast. He is. He's, he's, he's an amazing guy. Like I said, but, uh, um, how can people, so if people who are out in Vegas, cause you're strictly in Vegas, you're not in Albuquerque anymore. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I go back and visit because I have family out there and every now and then I'll see some, some past patients if, if I have, uh, if, if my schedule allows for it. Okay. But yeah, I've definitely moved my entire business and I'm hundred percent in Vegas as far as, as that goes. Okay. So if people are out in Vegas or they want to come see you, how do they, like, I'm sure you would say you'd recommend that they set up a scheduled appointment beforehand before they come out mm-hmm. there. 
it's unlikely they're you're going to have an opening uh you know as as they're out there and say hey i want to see you thirsty your thursdays are probably right, right. so how would people yeah. reach you yeah best bet is uh to at least give yourself about two weeks i notice that's kind of where we're, where we're booked out from um you can schedule online through the website elite-osm.com uh, you just have to look for the the Vegas location because both Albuquerque and Vegas are on there. Or if you want to go to Albuquerque, you can sign up with one of our providers there as well. Um, but if you're wanting to come out to Vegas, which most people like to vacation right. here, which is, that's what's really cool about it. We have a lot of people travel in. Um, but yeah, they can get in contact with us uh, through email if they have some questions and whatnot. Uh, we don't have a direct line to call a phone line just because we don't want to spend all day on the phone. Right. Um, but yeah, email is the easiest way. That way we can send over the scheduling link, um, answer any questions that way. Um, but you can also just go straight to the website if you already know what you want and then just click on a day and a time and a provider and then you can sign right up, sign up for your, your treatment right then and there. That's why I'm telling you, you guys need to come to Orlando because Orlando is like Vegas in the sense that everything that goes on in this state pretty much is in Orlando. And we're only, oh, yeah. we're only like an hour, if even that, from the beach. So you oh, yeah. Yeah, I love Orlando. It's yeah. amazing. So I'm I'll probably make a trip out there sooner than later. I have a, one of my youngest nieces lives out in Florida too. So I have to go visit her, maybe go to Disney world and then we'll yep. have to link up if I ever come out. Yeah. If you, if you do come on in, you come on in the studio, we'll have you in the studio and, uh, and, we yeah, have, perfect. and we'll, maybe we could do a, a an adjustment inside the studio. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So definitely I've done that before. It's fun. I might have to take you to Disney or something. Of course, Disney right now with, you know, the way COVID is and everything, I think they still have reservations that you have to make. So, and I think they're like two, maybe two weeks or more out. So if you come yeah, back, to Atlanta, make sure you check on that before you, uh, because I don't think you'll get straight into Disney. Right. Right. Not, right. Not yet. So yeah, that's a good call. But yeah. So, um, do you have a website or do you have a, I know you have an Instagram. Do you have a Facebook or anything that people can follow you? Yeah. Yeah. Facebook, um, Instagram, it's all Dr. Sean Flake. So I'm sure you'll have it written on your, on your podcast there. Yeah. And I'll have, um, I'll have all the links uh, below, but a lot of times when people are listening, they don't, no. you know, on the podcast and not looking at it on YouTube. They'll, right, right. they like to hear it so they can, you know, type it in their phone while they're driving. They shouldn't be. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, uh, Instagram is one of the, one of the things I use the most and it has all my videos on there and you can directly message me and I respond to everyone that, that messaged me at the moment. Uh, I'm not, I'm, you're getting a lot yeah. of followers though. You're going to, there's going to come yeah, yeah. where you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, pretty soon for sure. Uh, but yeah, for the meantime, take advantage of that. It's a doctor. So dr. dot S E A N sean dot p l a k e so p as in penguin l a k e um and that's that's an easy follow it should pop up right away once you put dr sean um and then besides that if you want to look more at uh in detail on the services we offer it's going to be elite osm.com um that's where dr hightower has a lot of his videos and then we have all of our profiles um on our back on our backgrounds and all the service we offer as well as the scheduling. Very cool. So best way to do it. I have to, I have to mention one more thing before we go today. You mm -hmm. have the cutest damn dog. I think I've ever seen Cooper. Yeah. Yep, he's right here. Let me get in the final. Is he? He's, he's sleeping in his bag right now, but let me pull him out. <laughs> he's getting pretty famous. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's so damn cute. He looks like a hi. animal almost. <laughs> Like yeah, too cute. Like a little teddy bear. So, and his yeah, name he's a, yeah, his name's Cooper. He's uh, in the office with me almost every day. Yep. Every now and then, I'll, I'll keep him home just so he can play with the, the other pups. But um, what, what yeah. dog is he? He's a micro mini uh, golden doodle. Micro mini golden doodle. Okay. Yep. So they have mini golden doodles, and then he's one one size smaller than that. So I, I'm pretty sure it's the smallest size that there is for golden doodles. He said he's a teacup as well. So, right. Um, he's going to be about eight to 12 pounds right now. He's pushing eight pounds. So he'll get a little bit bigger than this. Right. He seems to have super cute. Position. <laughs> yeah. He's super chill. He just kind of hangs out in the office, gets some, gets some pets every now and then if he's, if he's awake and out and about, 
Otherwise, he finds a little corner and just kind of crashes out and just kind of waits for me to be done. That way he can go home and play. And then he gets wild. Is he your wingman? Yeah, he's, he's an amazing <laughs> wingman. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he, ta- he, he steals the show for sure. Yeah. He- I'm like, hey, what about, what about me, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone tries to steal him. They want to take him home, so I have to be careful. <laughs> exactly. If I, if, if I turn my back for one second, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, he is so damn cute. You, everyone just focuses on him, though. So, yeah. Yeah. That's what's nice, too, is just having him as a little distraction if someone's a little scared coming in just because we're retreating inside of an MMA gym and you see some fit, muscular guys like yeah. about to do these crazy adjustments on people. So there's there's some older ladies or people I've never been adjusted before that are a little intimidated by just the whole process, you know. So having a little cute dog kind of helps balance that out. Uh, yeah and yes just because i can imagine when you have people like john jones walking around or something out there and yeah john jones francis and johnny yeah, exactly <laughs> these guys are just lots of super nice guys but yeah when they they, they can be really scary when, inside yeah, they, the ring obviously <laughs> yeah they can who's the who's the biggest guy you've ever worked on biggest guy um francis is up there for sure he's the one of the like the one of the tallest and most muscular at the same time, you know. Right. Um, we've had a couple guys that are, are pushing four hundred pounds or maybe a little over four hundred pounds that that just take up my entire table. <laughs> uh, the, those those guys are really tough to work on. Whether whether they're a little more bulky or muscular, like regardless, that's just a lot of mass to move around. Yeah. Because um, I was wondering we've had it, with uh, with people like um, like. Thor or um, um, Eddie, uh, what the hell's his name? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Why am I drawing a blank? Eddie Hall, any of those guys, yeah, yeah. like they're just so freaking huge. I don't even know how you can get your get around them, you know? <laughs> yeah, especially Dr. Hightower. He's been treating some seven foot NBA players and some, yeah, I saw some that. really big, uh, yeah, some, big, some really big wrestlers and WWE guys and things like that. So those guys are monsters. Um, but it's all about angles and where, where you set up your body mechanics and, and, and in relation to the person. So if someone's really tall, we can kind of keep them on a table instead of them standing up and trying to pull them back into us. We might have to just keep them seated on the table and then pull them back to where our table moves up and down so we can select the right height. And you kind of make, you just, you just have to figure it out. It's all, everything's a puzzle that you have to figure out and make it, make it happen. Well, if you can handle a 400 pound guy, I'll be nothing to you. So. That's good. Oh yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, instead of using my hands, I'm just like getting my elbows, maybe some some <laughs> knees. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm not walking on I'm not walking on any backs. We're not doing time massage, but <laughs> I, de- I definitely use my elbow quite a bit just because some of these guys need that, especially for lower backs and glutes and stuff. Like the elbow is a good a, yeah. a good tool for me. I feel like an elbow in the in my right shoulder blade would be just joy i just feel like that's what it would be but i can't get anyone like even massage therapists i don't know why they don't want to use the elbow and i thought i thought that would be a great thing to use but they Mm -hmm. and yeah a lot of uh, teachers and and therapies are against it just because you don't have very much feeling on your elbow um that's why you can kind of pinch it and like right pinch it a lot harder there than you would your tricep right (laughs) um there's just not there's not as many as many uh, nerve endings on the elbow itself so Therefore, you can't really feel what you're doing in a sense. But once you uh, really learn how to feel with your other proprioceptors, as far as like the rest of your shoulder and things, um, all the all the depth, it ends up making sense. Like you just have to. It's like a, it's a learning process. Like once you get it down, like you can figure out how much pressure to use. I can feel when a knot releases just based off of um, the amount of give that the rest of my shoulder is taking. And there's still some feeling there, so it's not like it's right. totally numb. Right? Not that when you're working on bigger guys, they can handle that kind of pressure anyway that maybe the average your average patient wouldn't be able to, to handle. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. we, we kind of we we uh, inform the the patient that it's going to be a little uncomfortable. It's, gonna, it's a process that's uncomfortable. Um, you can if you watch some of our YouTube videos, you can see people kind of squirming or yelling at times. It just depends on how the how the person deals with it. But most people are we're, we're not. If they say no or they can't take it, and we're, we're going to stop, you know. But we we try to make sure that they're aware and it's going to get them better. So 
and it's not it's not anything that's unsafe for them it's just pushing the limits that way we can make more progress like the the more tissue structure we can change and the more of uh, that congestion of the knots and the fascia and everything that's just bound up the more fascial change that we can um, make the the better everything's going to move and the, the quicker they're going to get uh, healthy all right, so I have one last question. With what you do with, with the mallet and the chisel, have you guys thought about like um, creating a, a class of some sort to, to certify people into doing this so other chiropractors could do this or you know, come to your school and learn how to do these techniques and, and you know, use this across the country? Yeah, yeah. Our first step is... Um... Uh, is getting it like entering it in the naturopathic curriculum so for that to actually be a unit that we can teach at our school um but something that i've always wanted to do is is to be able to teach like to go various states set up these seminars and and teach practitioners that way we can get more people out there healing people for sure um that's definitely in the works like at the very early stages we'll, we'll definitely have that at some point um, and then, yeah, I'd love to be one of the, the guys that goes around and teaches everyone. We get a lot of people asking where we bought this from, where we got that from, um, and all of our different techniques. And at first we're just kind of like, it's our thing. Like, we'll, we'll, we're not ready to put it out there yet. We want to, want to grow it under, under our name first and whatnot. Um, but as, as it's getting more known about with all the videos and stuff, like it, people are, are understanding it and getting it. So that, is that, is that first, you just think it's, it's bogus, right? Like you've never seen nothing like it. So, um, but as you see the results actually happening before your eyes, you're like, okay, this, this might work. And yeah. people are, are more, more interested in it, just like yourself. Like that's what kind of caught your eye. So yeah, and it's I, so different. When I saw it, I didn't think it was bogus. I truly thought the first time I saw it, it's like, that's what I, I, I truly thought. I, I truly believe that's what I need. I think that's what I need to get deep inside here to get whatever it is that doesn't want to pop or move or whatever the hell is going on there that, yep. you know, and, and it may come down to, it just needs soft tissue. You may work on that and go, Oh, it's healed. And then I'll go, oh. <laughs> so I'll yeah. be disappointed that I didn't get the mallet, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but if I, yeah, so we'll, uh, that's what we'll start out with. Uh, I'll put a little <laughs> extra pressure than what you're used to. I'm sure. Like, you said you haven't found a therapist that can kind right. of work you as deep as you'd like. That's what, that's a lot. When people come in, that's a lot of what, what they tell us is like, I just want them to press hard. Like, I'm like, all right, we got you. <laughs> they'll say what you, you asked for it. They'll go, uh, this might be a little uncomfortable. And I, and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like when like, you don't have yeah. enough weight to put on me or you're enough pressure to put on me to make me even know that you're hardly back there. That's why I, yeah. I you know, I tell people when you go to a chiropractor, go to one that's, if you're if you're athletic at all, go to one that's big enough that he can he or she can handle you because there's a lot of them out there. They just don't have the ability to to work on that much muscle. They you know so mm -hmm. they would need to go to someone like you or Doctor Bo the that can handle you know guys that are 400 pounds in that way 250 pounders aren't nothing to you. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes a huge difference. That's why we stay we stay active, stay in the gym. That way we can kind of keep up. Exactly. otherwise yeah not not just for our personal health and looks like we have to get this job done so it's like guys stay strong and make sure that we're we don't want that to be a limiting factor of treating someone and making making them feel better so right exactly it's definitely a, a big part of what we do and that's why people come to us for sure well listen i really appreciate you taking the time out this evening with your busy schedule to, to be on the show I am going to be coming out to see you. I will schedule an appointment with you. We'll, we'll, we'll get that and uh, we'll show people what you do, but I'm going to also um, at the end of this, I'm going to put a video of you up using the mallet and chisel. So people get an idea. And uh, if that way, if they're out in Vegas or they actually live in Vegas, cause I do have a lot of listeners out in, in Vegas for some. Perfect. <laughs> and so, yeah. uh, and so, uh, you know, they could come in that uh, and check you out and see what it's all about. And, and, you know, and one of the things I, I tell people is like, look, you've got to take care of your health and you've got to take stock of it. Without your health, there's nothing else. There, you, you, the richest man in the world will give every dime he has to get his health back if he's ill. And, and, Absolutely. you know, it, it's, 
nothing operates without your health. <laughs> so, so take yep, that's what, that's what, that's what we're all about. We're, we want to improve everyone's quality of life. Make sure that you're enjoying those, whatever years that you're currently in, you want to make the most of them. Um, especially the way the world is now, like things are crazy. So you want yeah. to just be able to, to have a good time and, and enjoy every minute, especially with your family, friends. Um, and then, yeah, just movement is medicine. So we want to get people out there moving and we also coach on, on some nutrition, things like that. So it's just a full circle approach that we want to make the world a better place and some happier people living in it. And that's, you know, and I, you know, I admire you for that because not everybody's that, I, I mean, seriously, not everyone cares that much and it's nice to run into people like you and, 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 and people like Stan, you know, so you can tell Stan cares, you know, he just, he gives mm -hmm. time so freely and he's just, even at his own expense, you know, and so it's nice to see guys like you who care about your, your patients and your clients and people and helping them get healthy, you know, not just through, uh, um, through chiropractic care or massage or, um, but also through nutrition and teaching them things like that, that will help them out. So thank you very much. We, we really appreciate guys like you. And I'm, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for Dr. Bo. I'm excited for what you guys, you know, for your future and, yeah. uh, and what you have going on. And I'm excited about having you start open up a place here in Orlando. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll be in, in Florida soon enough for sure. And then, yeah, we'll just keep expanding from there. I think we can really grow this thing and, you know, that's that's the goal is the more people we can help and um i wish we'll, we'll be there soon i wish you the best of luck and anything i can do to help you along uh, i'll be happy to because i just believe in helping good people whenever you know in any way possible um mm -hmm. because uh there's not enough of you around so <laughs> help you when we can awesome yeah i'm looking i'm looking forward to you coming we'll, we'll get that camera that cameraman out here so we can see uh see some funny faces you might make some screams right. now i'm gonna say don't make me cry like a bitch please right. <laughs> right, we're gonna cut that part out exactly <laughs> no that's 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 uh that's the fun part of the videos you gotta people all your listeners want to see you uh yeah, see you in pain a little bit exactly yeah. well i'm sure they'll see yeah, yeah well, we'll throw that on there and you might get a little extra views <laughs> exactly i'm sure <laughs> they'll, they'll come just for that <laughs> well listen awesome dr sean thank you so much for for joining me i really appreciate you being here and folks thank Absolutely. you for uh for joining us and uh if you're out in vegas go see dr sean i'll have all his uh his information and in links uh, linked below uh, so that way you can schedule if you know you're going out there in a month or so. so make sure, like he said, schedule at least two weeks in advance uh, so you can go in and see him. And if you are a listener of mine or a viewer of mine, take some video and send it to me. I'll put it up there. Okay. So people can see, yeah. you, see you cry like me. I'll probably cry. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a video. We'll have a video comp confirmation of all the, right. all the different treatments exactly uh, but yeah also uh, if, if you are a listener uh, and you come in just just let me know that's how you heard about us and we'll give you a little discount as well there you go he's going to give you a discount so just say you heard me heard him heard him or watched him on uh the powers project and you get a discount what, what more can perfect you for? <laughs> and you'll get Let's do it you get to see cooper <laughs> as long as you don't try yeah. to <laughs> so yeah exactly <laughs> we'll, right. we'll be here waiting all right all right thank you so much Thank you, folks. Thanks for joining us. And until next time, be safe, take care, and still wear your mask. Bye. Bye.